Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. We are back at Alchemoth to advance the story. I know, right? What has it been, like two episodes? Uh, I didn't have time to actually go and do any of the side quests, or uh, other side quests today. I actually just got home and figured I would bust this one out for you guys. It looks like we need to go up a level, maybe? Yeah. That's weird. When I turn it sideways, it looks like it's on the same level. Guess I could just open up the the uh, <clears throat> what's it called? The map. On the map. On the map. On the map. I know that from what's his name? Oh shit! It's he's a comedian. We could get lost if he goes here. We should go back. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Brian Regan, there we go. That's the comedian I was talking about. I guess it's from Dora the Explorer. My niece used to love that shit. Thankfully, I never had to watch her when it was on. I did buy her a crap ton of Dora the Explorer crap, though, when she was younger. Is this the right way? There's something red over here. Silver ring. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's let's check the map. Where am I going wrong? Go up. No, that's down. Where oh where is the quest marker? Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm a silly man sometimes. All right. Hello, I would like a cutscene right now. Do I talk to you? Palace attendant, please accept my humble gratitude for rescuing the repair worker. You must be tired. Feel free to rest. Yeah, let's rest. Well, it's very beautiful, the city. Can't wait for the Metcon to attack. Well, they might not, uh, or we're going to, you know, lay waste to the, the area by fighting against them. That's a How lot of fucking people. Invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. Oh, right. Melia's announcement to the ascension of, of the throne. Who My is that? and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than 20 years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. <laughs> Fucking so Dunban in the I back with his legs up. Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antigua. That's Melia? It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. She does not dress up I nicely. The spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? She looks like a court jester. My daughter. Melia Antiqua will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become your crown princess. N neat. Hey, Shulk, you're not a sticking through your armor, dude. Well, she's gonna die. <gasps> Silence overtakes the crowd. It's not normally a good thing when someone makes an announcement like that. It's usually cr clapping. 
And it's a lot worse when they boo, I guess, but silence is just as bad as booing if pro wrestling has taught me anything. Lady, you gotta have the smallest boobs in this game that I've seen so far. mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. Oh, that was a mask? First consort, all the pieces are in place. I guess that makes sense. and the captive homes shall be no more. Yeah, bring it on. ...who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. Oh, bring it on. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a high Entia first consort and a Hom second consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. Yeah, bring it on, Tyrea. You gonna die, bitch. That mask. I mean that in a non-derogatory way, by the way. People get really sensitive about words these days. Must be my old age. Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? Good question. Know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Melly not like other bird people. Melly like Hom Hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute! Oi! You'll give a Homs a heart attack shouting <laughs> like that! We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already! Yeah! Time to die, women! Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. Don Man, I like you. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. Oh. Alright, now Shulk, take that red thing and beat them to death with it. Or we can just stick with this party. Poison all of them, Ricky. Where Oh, they can do a chain attack well? Why can't I move? There we go. That's a scout. Not doing as much damage as I thought we would be doing. Down kick? How about death kick, bitch? Okay, so we have one of them in CC'd over there. That's fine. These two should not be. Three. These three. I can count. I'm not blind. Why did I switch targets? I don't want to switch targets. Well, that's the one I want to kill. Yeah, Ricky full of strength. Hey, uh... Charla, can you shoot that other one over there and put her to sleep? Oh, right. Dodging cancels my inputs for some reason. Found that out a few... By a few, I mean, like, probably like 20 episodes ago. It just rarely comes into play. Or if it does, I just don't notice it. Okay, you're you dead. Wizard? Not much of a wizard when you're asleep in the middle of combat. You're pretty awful for a wizard. Bone Uppa, these guys pose no threat to us. That's right, this group is amazing. I guess I'll just let the auto attacks happen. Yeah, now crush the skulls in. Kill them. Who are these guys? Shulk. Hey, Elvis. Uh -huh. Ain't nothing but a hound dog having visions all around. What is this? More of them. Wait. This is His Highness Callion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother. Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. 
Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are... They look like they're still breathing, so I think we should this? kill them. I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. Oh, well, let's but remove the masks and see their faces. These people. Wait, could that have been... No, there's no way. Kallion, Melia is in danger. She'll be killed as an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. In his vision, though, wasn't Shulk, like, bound to the altar? Or am I thinking of a different vision? Or am I just confused in my drunken state? Which, I'm not drunk. Your Highness. As agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. You're evil. As I don't like you. As has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most At least we don't have the Jester get up anymore. So are we taking control of Milia while she goes through the trials? Your Highness. You are sexy as fuck, but evil. Acceptable. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life or death is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy, Ryan. But Dumban. This ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. But other people are interfering. Shouldn't like we you. interfere to but stop the interference? Right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only High Entia, and if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem. Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No, I suppose not. Then look at it this way: I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break. And we'll save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this Mechon bashing band of Homs. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mechon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. Oh, oh burn! Purposes. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others. Be it against the Mechon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Oh, fucking so foreshadowing right there. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her center Highness gate. has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. Center gate. Alrighty then. Okay, so we have a guest. Sadly, he's not part of our party. I would really like a party member that can't die. Yeah, alright. So let's teleport to the center gate. I think we have that. Was that the thing that Ricky was like, I can't go here? Or... Center... 
Center gate. That's the Great Hall. Is the center gate outside? Aerith C. Center gate! Mm, I should probably look at the equipment that I wanted to buy. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go that way. The teleporter is down there. It is, in fact, down there. Alright. There we go, Ricky. Kind of did a lumbering jump there last time. He just kind of slid down the railing. Who are you, Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk Pro Ricky. Mm, doesn't really have a ring to it. And cutscene, alright. Do we get to kill more of these bird people? This is Starting to want like buffalo wings. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained. And my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen you guys look before. fucking the same, okay? <laughs> you look like twin brothers. One with gray hair, one with blonde. Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? Didn't you overhear her? I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the Ether. And your will is made His reality. lips are so out of sync with the text. I willed it. And it happened. And, well, his voice, I should that say, not it. the text. Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more. You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. I think it's like the Jesus, man, your lips are still moving even when you're done talking. Alright. It's like the first time I've seen that in this game where lips don't sync up to the voice. Or I've just been so minor before that it's not really been worth calling out. But I'm a fan of the old Godzilla movies, so it's not that big of a problem. Holy shit, Kefka. The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. That mask is creepy as hell. Uh, Alright. Okay, so... You've gained a lot of levels since the last time we used you. I want to see the Empress Mask. Damn it! Uh, can I at least look at the details? Uh, Empress Mask. Details. Uh, that's actually pretty good defense. Uh, she loses, what, 13? Gains 15? That's just all around better. Cool oil. We, yeah, it's been a while since we had her in a party, so we do have equipment that she can use. God damn sexy princess. Alright. Mm. 
Sure, jungle gloves. No. Okay, and weapons. You have that equipped. But that's just by, by far better. Alright. Let's see if we have any gems to give her. Uh, double attack, probably not useful. Agility up slow. What does haste do? Increases the speed of auto attacks. I should have known that. I play a lot of Final Fantasy games. Do we not have any ether ups? Well, we'll give you the. Yeah, we'll give you that. And. We really don't have any ether ups? I need to make some of those. It's ether defense. What happened to my ether ups, actually? I had some. Uh, maybe they're equipped onto Sharla. Well. I guess I'll give her the muscle up. Just to increase her defense a little bit more. Do we have any more of those? Cloak, blue defense, blue defense, muscle up, and one more for sh fun. Quick step. What does that do? Sure, I might need to be running away from people. So, all right, let's look at her skills before we move on a little bit. Her her arts. We'll look at her skill tree too because we haven't in a while. I have not bought any of your goddamn books, have I? Well, Mind Blast, you're going to get some levels because I like the things you do. We have gained a lot of goddamn... Uh, freaking AP for her in her absence. Healing Gift, that's a healing ability. Damage, choice to sacrifice own hit points. Well, let's not do that. And we'll level this up because... Why not? Well, I know why not, but we're going to level it up anyways. Summon copy. Summon the last summon elemental. That seems like it'd be useful. Uh, we'll just do this for now. Skill tree. Okay, you've actually leveled up a lot since the last time I've used you. Are we not even going to have to fight anything? We're just going to... Verification device. Two thousand five hundred and twelve cycles since last visitor. State your name. That's a long time. Melia Antiqua. I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. I have a feeling the group's gonna get have a hard time. Hey, panty shot! We're gonna have a hard time getting past that if we're all Homs. Then there's Elvis, and probably Shulk, cause I'm seeing a trend here. It's been passed down from Imperial lines and ended up in your hands, and you can use it without any fail. It's so cold. Yeah, it's a bit nipply in here. of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited. Well, what does this do? Oh, Don't God talk. damn it, Ryan! You know, Ricky's weapon's gonna really hurt someone when it falls on top of them. Are we Melia again, or are we the group? Melia! Deal damage by firing elementals. Melia alone in the tomb. Uh, is alone in the tomb. It might be best for her to fire elementals after summoning them to deal damage rather than using the grant herself buffs. However, when taking on multiple enemies at once, Try inflicting sleep on some of them to make it easier to fight the others. 
take care not to awaken the sleeping monsters with arts like summon flare. Alright. So I understand how Milia works. So it's but she is weak. Physically, not magically. She's strong magically. Uh, so our best bet is to uh, step on this apparently, and then CC multiple. Like if we get into groups with multiple enemies, is the CC one, and yeah, summon lightning, summon aqua, summon flare. I'm gonna hit you with my staff. Haha. So. Does her, uh, I haven't used her before. Oh, we'll just... Jesus Christ! Good job, Amelia. Sky top. Let's see if that's better than what she has. Seeing how I just spent some time equipping her, might as well go back. So we get a cool oil, and then we get the sky top. Alright, well... Uh, well, it's less revealing, which usually means it's weaker. Recovery up, agility up. Do, do, do. Damage back to attack. Uh, I think I have a spike three, don't I? Oh, no, I have a spike four. That might be good for her, seeing how she's alone right now and will be likely being, you know, attacked. Blue bobble? Blue bobble. Ooh, airwigs. Hall of Trials. So, either way. Yeah, airwigs are kind of nasty in the spring summertime around my house. They're little, like, pincer, pincer type creatures. I had an infestation of them a long, long time ago. Thankfully, it never got that bad again, but you find them in your mailbox sometimes. And where's my sleep? Hey. Go to sleep, hovering thing. And burst in? I uh, can't use that, apparently. Why can't I attack you? I apparently resisted the fuck out of that. Why? Oh. I can use this without... Okay, so apparently I didn't know how she worked. <laughs> how do I use that? Do I just, like, go all the way back? No? Well, that's debatable. That bolt attack does a lot of damage. You get sky bottoms. Hey, we might be able to cover up your butt. And night glow staff. Alright, I guess I didn't really need to equip you with stuff. Seeing how we're getting a bunch of new equipment for you. Uh, it's better. Decently better, too. And... What was it? The bottoms? You got them apple bottom jeans, jeans. Oh, well. Not really. Let's see if we can get her... Was HP up, right? Yes. Just to help a little bit. You never know when I'm gonna die. Uh... Yeah, it's probably not useful for her, but we'll, we'll see. And actually, that's going to be it for this episode, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head back to uh, my video section, check out some of my past content, and see if you're liking. Once again, thank you all for joining me, and I hope to see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.